today we get to mess with the scooter. I'm not normally in the scooter, but I spend a lot more time on the climber than I thought I would. And frankly, I mean, the use case is there. A lot of times I end up just wanting to hop on it. It's great to ride in tandem too. So, you know, I don't know if I think about scooters the way that a lot of people think about scooters. But for me, you know, they present a very unique opportunity for, for having fun. You know, the lines that you have to pick are different. You have to strategize different. The tire sizes are so much smaller than an electric unicycle. So, for its own thing, it's pretty cool. And I don't think I could poo-poo like scooters as an entire thing. Is it for me over EUC? Like, no. But does it have its thing? Yeah, I have a lot of fun with them. Um, so I'm really excited to see what this Spider Max is. All right, guys, stay tuned. Rob Lee. What's up, man? What's up, Brody? You bring a knife? Um, knife. I, I have knives. You have a key on you? I do not have a key on me. You know. Oh, that's so fancy. That's so fancy. Oh my gosh. So this is the Spider Max. So. 30 amp hour Spider Max. How fast is the? They don't. They didn't say the specifications on there. When I went to the website for Dualtron, and like some of the wheels had the ranges and the speeds on it, but the Spider Max didn't necessarily have the specs. Sorry, yeah, 65 miles and 42 miles an hour. Okay. Max load, Wait. 260 pound rider. Oh, that's in. Oh, that's in yours. Oh, that's so nice. See, look, in their website, it's there. On the Dualtron website, I, I couldn't find it. Oh, 23 degree? That's going to be exciting. Oh, man. Max load, 260 pounds. I bet you it can handle heavier than that. Yeah, a lot of these dual motor scooters are powered. Oh, yeah. Very powerful. And it's uh, only 70 pounds. That's cool. In line with the UCs, um, definitely, yeah. And the way that the handle locks into the kick plate on the scooter, you can just use, use that... Uh, uh, stem, you know, as a handle to carry it, so it works out quite well. My man. So, what are you cutting? No. Well, I'm moving it back so that way. It... I feel like Vanna White. It sh you should feel like Vanna White. <laughs> oh. There you go, Johnny. Oh man. See, this is what happens when you don't bring your knife to a party. You have to use the red key. The red key is my favorite. There's so many more masculine keys here, and I had to use the red key. But there's a lot of brass keys there. Brass? Yeah, brass keys are soft. Oh, so you don't want to do that correct. Okay, okay, so this is like... This is actually... This is actually just a really tough... This is a tough key. And it's the key to a lock that I no longer have. Oh, so that's cool. So there's no lock there. Jeez. Oh, so look at that. Oh. So I don't even know what I'm looking at outside of... Uh, these are handlebars. I can identify that. Let's play that game. Um, that looks like a throttle because it's not a brake. Because that's a brake, probably, and that's a brake. And then that looks like it's a screen. That looks like a screen. There's some, there's some assembly. Just got to attach a screen. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. And I guess this is where the screen is gonna go, maybe? That's where that's where we're gonna mount that eventually at some point? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And it looks like it comes with a book. And so that's something about what the screen's gonna look like, I think, when it's all together. Again, I'm a noob to this guy, so if you think that I've done something, you know, said something stupid, you can please call me out, because um, I have no idea. So, what does it tell us about the Spider Max if there's anything distinctive? Let's see here. 
so we can ride it if we're 14 to 60 years old. That's pretty cool. Hard cut off at 60. Maximum speed, 80 kilometers an hour. 17 hours charging. Wow. Fast charger. Holy plan your trips, Batman. Holy get your fast charger, Batman. All right, all right, I'm excited, I'm excited. 50 pounds, that's how many pounds you want in your tires. 50 pounds, 50 pounds. Okay, oh snap, okay, so it shows what all's in here, kind of gives us an idea of what we gotta do. A little bit of the assembly instructions. Oh man, if you've done Legos, you can do this, this is easy. Oh, and it tells us how to ride, look at that, that's so sweet, look. Look, it's so cool, look, okay, so what does it say to us here? It says, power on the scooter and choose the speed mode. Please choose the speed mode before riding. That's an exclamation point. Note, speed mode can be choose via the dual Tron app. Number two, we're gonna skip to the end. When hard braking, serious danger or injury may occur, maintain a moderate speed and look out for potential hazards. That looks cool. I see what you mean. We'll get time about that. That's really cool. We should make that a challenge. We got to try to do an endo. What is that, a gainer? Or what is you? We got to ride up on the front nose of the tires. That's, that looks fun. Uh, some buddy system stuffed here. Lift up the bottom. They got some really short people here, man. Lift up the bottom of the fork and rear foot pedestal to carry if necessary. Make sure the scooter is carried by two or more people. Risk of pinching. That's a thing. That's what it says. <clears throat> Let's pull the scooter out of the box. <clears throat> oh, look, hang on. There's more things. That's a cable. That's definitely not the charger. That's way too small to be a charger, but that's gotta go to the charger. And then, there's a little baby wrench there. Look at that. Look at that. That wrench is not Craftsman quality, though. What's in here? This is curious. Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh, guys, look, 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 look. And a carabiner. Look at that. That's a whole wrenchy doodah thing. Bro, look, look. That's swag. Swag. It's gangster. Whole tool. Whole tool. That's so cool. Oh, man. Guys, you got to do that. Don't let nobody take your Dualtron. Uh, oh, shit. Your Dualtron authentic official Dualtron tool thingy. We're going to put this back in here. I don't want to lose it or scuff it or breathe on it the wrong way. There you go. Doot, 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 doot. So it doesn't look like the charger is on this side. Oh, no, it's over here. Boom. There's our charger. Okay, I don't want to mess this up. There we go. No rippy rippy. Look at that. That's not so big. Right? Look at that. I see why the, the charge time takes a long time. But that's got to be really, like, inconspicuous, you know? So I guess you're, you know, you're. it's a trade-off. It really is. You get a bigger charger, it's going to be a lot more <laughs> obnoxious. You're not going to be able to fit it in your hand like that. Um, all right, so. We'll look at pulling this puppy out now. Yeah, this scooter is actually courtesy of my man Rob here and uh, the PEV connection. What, what did you feel like you were going to fulfill for the market that wasn't being fulfilled so far? Well, I, I want to start off by saying I, a lot of the existing dealers, uh, we, we know the folks there and, uh, and, and we love them and, and we love the service that they provide. Um, as far as, you know, online shopping with these devices, we wanted to bring a local place that people can come and they can uh, see the different models, they can get an idea, they can learn, they can talk and communicate with other people, um, get into the community, learn more about the, the different types and get an idea what they want. Um, you know, you, you shop online, you, you don't always know exactly something comes in, it's how tall is it going to be, how wide is it going to be, how heavy is it going to feel when you pick it up. Um, 
you have an issue, you know, you have a leaky tire, you have a tube, you have a tire, you have something that, that needs done, you don't want to ship it back to California, you don't want to ship it back to, you know, some service center somewhere or across the state. So that, that's what we're here for is to, to help bring uh, the, the gap between, you know, the, the online dealers that, that, you know, provide that shipping service where we have it here locally for our guys uh, in Florida. Here and carry it, so we'll uh, we'll go over all that. It's pretty well gangster. I was actually setting setting up, and that one's the only one that's a little bit loose still. So we're gonna snug that. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in down here. Let's zero in and kind of let's kind of go in go into some details on this scooter here. Okay, because holy moly. First thing that I want to do is bring your guys' attention to the fact that I picked it up as just one person. No, um, so so right here, this is the thing that I think I want to I want to just bring your attention to straight away is this kickstand, which is like stupid rigid, stupid rigid, and it feels like, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm gonna check on the backside here and see, but it feels like. Yes, so I'm going to show you guys what I suspected there, and that's that the kickstand actually has a little bit of a height adjustment mechanism to it. So you can see right here. So the kickstand is adjustable to come uh, to to uh, to accommodate the varying heights of the suspension that you may have. Straight away, the tires look really, really nice. They're street tires, definitively pneumatic. Uh, they have a nice little treading to them. They're gonna lose some traction if you try to take them off-road. You're gonna slide around just a little bit. Um, I see Loctite uh, on some of the suspension bolts here. Um, I really like to see um, very limited wear on the connectives, the bolts, the screws, the nuts. I really like for the cons for the customer on anything to be the first person. So when I look at electric unicycles, that's one of the big things that I look for. And in looking at this, that's what I'm looking for as well. So big thing when you're dealing with scooters is that you're going to have so many more um, moving parts, so many more screws, so many more things holding things together. So you're going to want to take attention to that. If this was my own scooter, I would go and comb over this and just make sure that all of the bolts and all of the screws were, you know, sufficiently snug to my liking uh, so that way nothing rattled loose prematurely um, or, you know, outside of the tradition, outside of any normal wear pattern. So, um, yeah, let's, can we, can we stand it up? www.pevconnection.com The Spider Max, uh, uh, it has kind of that Thunder 3 power, but it's in that lighter, smaller, you know, body and it's just sporty, you know? on this and an EUC. These things just accelerate so much faster. And I'm gonna tell you that the suspension felt stupendous. I've been riding one that does not have a suspension and compared to this, it feels so aggressive on my body. You feel every little bump and everything on the road. Having this humongous deck here, <laughs> like you can find footing that just feels good. Like you don't have to sit there and try to act like you're walking a plank while you're riding your wheel. I was worried that this rubber stuff might not feel super grippy, but it felt pretty good. I think that over a period of time, dust could make that a little bit less uh, less grippy. Uh, I genuinely love this heads-up display here, right here. This guy, I absolutely adore it. Um, all the specs came across, like, I mean, it was just, it, it was perfect. Uh, super easy, like, to read. Everything's very visible, bright in the daytime. Man, 
Yeah, and I love that light up. I wonder if we can control more of the uh, more of the effects there. Uh, I'm gonna draw this to your attention too. Um, this corrugated neck looks really, really cool, right? I think so. And then this light right here just keeps on jumping out at me. I think it's just a really unique light. I love the way the fender looks as well. Um, sorry. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this little unboxing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enjoy myself a little bit more of this Spider Max before Rob has to take it back. Take care. Oh, God. Wow. Man, I love this little hook right here. I love this little hook on the, uh, hi there. Hey, friends. I love this little hook right here on the uh, throttle. Makes it to where when you're going, when you're getting after it, you don't feel like you're gonna lose it. You just, it's just there, it's real easy. I love that. And see, I was in the sun there. Still got to see the uh, display there, pretty bright. Let's do it one more time. Rocket ship to infinity.